Hello and welcome to a brand new Alpha 21 7 Days to Die series. This one doesn't have a name, and the reason it doesn't have a name is because I couldn't think of one, but the general idea is this. We are going to be using an intellect build in 7 Days to Die to see how good they made the tons and see how powerful the perks are for progression, because I had a bit of a theory that in the right conditions, intellect could be used to absolutely speedrun to end game gear. Now the settings are on the screen, you'll see we're not doing Insane Nightmare this time, I am not good enough with batons at this present moment, I think anyway, to do Insane Nightmare with batons. Now most of you don't play Insane Nightmare and you don't care, but I did just lose like at least 10 people who only watch Insane Nightmare. But you know what, there's a whole other series for that. The premise of this one is basically I'm going to put almost all of my points into intellect until I'm done with intellect. I want to try and get to 10 intellect or at least 9 with nerdy glasses before I even start adding any points into other attributes. I think in the spirit of fairness I can take like the first rank of other perks from other trees but until I have 10 intellect or 9 with nerdy glasses, I can't invest in any other actual attributes to get any of the higher ranks of other perks, and I'm definitely going to be focusing my first few levels on the intellect tree entirely. But it's unrealistic to assume an entire 7 days to die playthrough is going to be in one skill tree, because you'll max out that skill tree by the end of like the second week if you focus on just that, so need to do something, right? Now the thing about an intellect build, or specifically a batons build, is that you can't make your main weapon out of just stones and wood and plant fibre. You need pipes and leather, and your best bet for that is going to be a house, probably. Uh, break the toilet, break some seats, there you go, you have yourself a pipe baton. So that's probably what I'm going to have to do first. It's still insane difficulty, and the zombies are still on running, so it's not a complete cakewalk. I have to be careful and get my good weapon as soon as possible. Where are these damn stones? Okay, the trader is a reasonable 500 meters away, and it looks like it's in a town. That is a refreshing change of pace from the Insane Nightmare series. Let me loot this truck, you never know what you might find. Some lead. Lead is of value to me, because I need it for robotic turrets, which we're going to be using at various points in the series. I do wonder if I should check this place, but it doesn't seem like the place you would actually find a toilet. Oh, there's a vulture, hi. Oh, you're kidding. The first hit? The first hit, really. The first hit and I'm infected. Uh, at least vultures only do 20 damage compared to zombies that do like 25. I'll actually save that for another hit. Fuck's sake, the first hit and I'm infected. Welcome to 7 Days to Die. Right, well, let's make my way over to the trader then, because I don't know what to expect from that place. I mean, I stepped foot in it and I immediately got infected. That's a bad omen if I've ever seen one. Two glue. That is actually very, very helpful because if I can turn that into duct tape, I can. Oh, she spotted me. Time to run away. See, if this was nightmare, I'd just be dead, and I'm not about that today. I want this series to be about the progression, not the combat. But yeah, um, two glue is really good because I can make two pieces of padded armor with that and take ten percent less damage, which is significant when you play insane difficulty. That's you know an extra hit of survivability. Unfortunately, it's trader wrecked, but you know what? It's fine some wood. This will have a forge ahead for me, presumably. Yep. So we can make our do collector, and that's fine. Forge. The forge ahead and some nails and some brass. Workbench with some more brass. Ah, vehicle adventures. Perfect. That's something that we're going to be able to level very quickly with an intellect build, so that'll be really nice. Ooh, some water. Let's see what he has inside here. Ooh, some more glue. Nice. Another water. Pipe. We're on our way to our pipe baton, at least. Is that really all you have in here, Wrecked? I feel like there's some kind of secret I'm missing. I've been up there already. Mostly food. That is his shtick. Oh, he does have some honey. If I can get a few hundred fukes here. Could uh, cure my infection. I just sold my pipe. That was a bad reflex. It's okay, though. I'll live. It was only one pipe. I mean, I could also buy four pipes in the leather from him directly if I get some money. He has a level six stone shovel. He has a wrench. That's a big early game limiter. Right, what I think I want to do for him is just get on a fetch job. Oh, nice. Couldn't have asked for a better roll on that. He just has a bunch of very easy fetch jobs. I just have to avoid combat at all costs because I don't actually have a real weapon. Now, this is Bo's Market. Okay. Okay. This one might be worth a quick double loot of the first room for a few books, but otherwise I'm probably just going to do this conventionally. Double look in here. Oh yeah, there's some books. Very sneaky. Very, very sneaky. 
And we got 100 mod schematic. That is worth money at least. Oh, a grill. Nice. Start that. More books again. More coffee. Let's grab these bookcases really quickly. I'm only here to fetch, but I will grab free bookcases when they show up. Uh, wiring and demolitions. Cool. Now, where is... Okay, so this is probably just going to be an easy frame job here. Hop up onto this roof here. Um, is there not meant to be a hole in this roof? Or am I misremembering this POI? It might be. I assumed I would hop up onto here and then I would just find it. Let's have a look in a window, maybe. All the windows are boarded up. Oh, hang on. Truck. Uh, stone axe level 2. It's better than nothing, I suppose. Uh, right, well, you know what? I think I'm going to go with my original plan. I'm just going to break through the ceiling. I've wasted enough time already. There we go. Also some meds here. Oh, that'll do. Let's go back to Rekt and take another job from him because I still want to get Tier 1 done as quickly as I can so that I can get the bicycle and never have to worry about anything ever again. Hey there. Give me some stuff. Staring, asshole. Duct tape is extremely useful, but mechanical parts are really hard to get early on, so it's the smart thing to just always take those if you can get them. Your first one anyway, you don't have to keep taking them, but once you've got a few mechanical parts, one scrapping book, a few forged iron, you have a wrench, you have unlocked half of the game. You're good. Um, can I sell blood bags? No, I cannot. <sighs> he doesn't know what he's missing. Right, let me get some honey to cure this stupid disease I have. And then let me see about getting four pipes. One, two, three, four, and three leather. It hurts to buy such random objects. Also, cobblestone is extremely cheap. If you can if you can get it, buy it. Uh, we'll wait for the cooking pot. I'm not in dire need of it immediately anyway. Oh, I would like that structural brace mode as All well. Right. Get a pipe baton going. I can actually fight things now. Like I have a genuine weapon that my build is built for. Let's take another oh fetch. I'll need to make a storage chest outside. Classic seven days to die gameplay. Where do I want to live for the night? Because I'm not going to build a base on the first night. I don't need one. I do see that elevated platform there. That might be the place to go. Uh, let me eat the honey. Let's, let's test this weapon on a, on a Marlene here. Now, I only have a couple of points, so I still have to be efficient with my stamina usage, but how many hits is it going to take? Four so far. Five. Six. That's not that bad. For insane difficulty, that's pretty normal, like, at the start of the game. So, that's a good sign. Uh, so, yeah, I'm probably going to spend my night up on this weird silo. Just kind of on the edge here. I'll just sit here for 15 minutes. Uh, I can make a writable storage box. That's fancy for my first storage container. I'll put this up here so I can just really easily access some stuff. You know what? I'll make another one for the trader as well. This will be my actual storage temporarily. This is, like... So strange to me. Oh, let's put it there. I like that. <laughs> Keep that glue in case I find some more cloth, actually, because I do want to make armor. Armor is like turning down the difficulty in this game early on. But let's head out around here, and I'll put my trader box there. So I'm at the stage where I can 1v1 a singular zombie. We are doing good so far. Tech Junkie, that is the stun baton one. Gives you more charges with your stun baton. You're more likely to charge it when you use attacks. Good, but I don't have a stun baton right now, so what am I supposed to do with it? <laughs> Let's start this quest and see where it wants me to fetch. Just in the first room? I will accept that, and I will probably take the fight that comes with it. Ooh, pipes. Of course. I would have never found pipes unless I had bought some pipes. We all know this. Ah, yes, come and fight me. Come on, dipshit. Okay, that's pretty tolerable. Oh, I activated another zombie. Come on, Arlene. Okay, where's the satchel? Nice. Now, I could do with a little bit of cloth, and I noticed that this bed is made of it. Check these bags for glue. I see a couch as well, which is also made of cloth. Uh, let's make two pieces of padded armor. That's 10% less damage already. That's great. When you get a full suit, you've basically turned the difficulty down to survivalists. Small victory, but incredibly helpful. Because survivalist is easier than insane. Let's head back to him here then. Let's take your business. Uh, I will take some 762 and I'll make a pipe machine gun later. Let me take another fetch. Uh, can I buy anything? At least I'm not going to be short on food. Uh, could 
probably wise to get a cooking pot soon, but I still don't actually have enough. All right, let's go do this job. Ooh, head pop. Right, I'm going to go straight into... Think... What would be the best choice here? I think I want to go straight to 5 Intellect and get, like, Electrocutioner 3. So I can just be good with my weapon. Like, I don't have to worry as much. After that, we'll backfill some more regression perks. You know, the ones that give you the crazy effects that catapult you to day 40 gear far too quickly? Yeah, those ones. Oh, it's this PY. Sorry, I, I think I've got, like, three zombies coming after me just from around. Hello, rabbit. There we go, I can make a bone knife now. So repair that. <laughs> right, let's see, can I get a sneak attack on the one guy here? Or is he on the other side? No, oh, no, he heard me. Oh, that reminds me, I need a name for this series. I couldn't come up with anything because I'm just uncreative, apparently. Um, it's an intellect build series, so give me some intellecty names in the comments. Oh, more glue. We can make another duct tape with that. I already have a duct tape. Okay, so a little bit more cloth and I can make my third and fourth pieces of armor. See a zombie. Oh, flip bag. Some more 762 and some food. Uh oh. Dawn broke. One sec. Well, it's... Oh, I thought I saw a hand move there. I assumed she didn't activate when you were in that room. I was wrong. I'm out of stamina. I need some bones. She's dead. Now I can get some cloth out of these couches. Right, let's make a... What piece of armor do I need? Legs. Added leg armor. And see if, what other cloth I can get here. There we go, and... Padded arm armor? Yeah, that'll be next. And then if I can get one more glue and some more cloth, I can make myself a padded hood, and I'll have the full 25% damage resistance that you get from level 1 padded armor, which is like one of the best things you can get early on in 7 Days to Die. There's a bookcase up here sometimes, not today. Uh, another medical journal. Ah, another glue, nice. We can make a duct tape, I just need more cloth then. This made a cloth? It was. That's helpful. Now, I know there's a few zombies in here, so let's try and do a sneak attack. I don't need to fight these, so if I get routed and have to run away, then, you know, it happens. Right, one's down. Let the other ones hit a hole in this door. There we go. Hi there, Mo. Extremely weird behavior, Mo, I'm going to be honest with you. There goes the door. Run away, but not like sprinting because it's not nightmare, so I don't need to get caught on the random things. There you go. She's dead. Mo. Another medical journal. Oh, some red goth boots. I don't really care about the goth boots, but it is leather. And red, I obviously love, so we'll grab that. Oh, big lag spike. Let's see, some arm armor that I'll sell. Lucky looter, find more dukes and loot. Sure. Iron arrows, which I will bring. I'll drop this paper. And a first aid bandage. Let's open up this. A knife guy. Eh, sure. Let's head back to Wrecked. What I really want to find is electronics trucks. Those have a very good chance of giving me, like, a stun baton. And just the books that are, like, related to that kind of thing. I do see an um, electronic store right here, actually. <laughs> there might be a truck in the... Yeah. Careful, though, because this is, like, town. We might get scary things here. Uh, Tech Planet. I will accept that. And a bunch of useful pieces for later. Not that helpful for me now, but, you know, Tech Planet is something. Let's get out here. Might be able to get one more fetch done before the night ends, which will be a great position to be in for day two. If I can get the bicycle by the end of day two, that'll mean I'll have tier two jobs unlocked for day three, and I'll have a bicycle to do them with, which is pretty good. Although nothing about that is specialized to intellect yet. Right now, I'm just dealing with the difficulties of insane difficulty, which is you need to invest in damage, or you can play in a way that is extremely unentertaining for YouTube videos involving being the biggest little bitch in the world. I know, I already play like a little bitch, but it's even worse, trust me. You basically don't fight anything and it doesn't make for good content. So we're going for the slightly altered playstyle here. Hello, Wrecked. 
I'll sell you goods. I will take crafting magazine bundles. Let's make a and I'll take the deracinated domicile. I think that's how you say that. Get that job done. Uh, I don't need electrical parts or scrap polymers. I have the things to make a wrench once I find out how to make a wrench. So there's no real issue there. Are you selling any cloth? No. Uh, let's get a cooking pot just to make sure we have that. Don't let the door hit you on your way out. Home cooking handguns and fists have been scammed. Right, let me go dump some stuff. The next thing I need is some glue again to make a pipe machine gun, which is your optimum emergency gun. The thing about an intellect build is it doesn't have a gun. It doesn't have a specialized gun. You have robotic turrets, which are your gun. Um which means I just have to use the best gun I can find that my character isn't going to be specced for, which is going to be the pipe machine gun, because it is the best of the pipe guns. Okay, let's see, is there any cotton nearby? There we go, make a single piece of cloth, and then make added hood, and we're fully armoured up. Basically playing on survivalist difficulty already. That's how you win. Let's go do this job. Oh yeah, this reset with that quest. Pistol peep, sure. Might use pistols later. Spear Hunter, that is not going to be helpful to me though. I'll sell it. Painkiller, yes. Now I have no interest in clearing this POI, it is a big POI for the tier 1. So I'm just going to get the bag as quickly as possible. Let's reset that and get all this stuff again. Oil and cloth again. And nothing particularly helpful. Right, let's have a look here. Let's see. I don't want to pillar up the outside, but I do want to minimize the amount of fighting I have to do here. Oh, a football helmet. Good, but you do get a mobility penalty that I'm not really a fan of. I don't like mobility penalties until I'm getting the best armor I can. Football helmets just aren't worth that to me. Well, I woke up another one. That was an interesting exchange. There's usually a bunch of books in this POI, at least. So if I'm clearing it properly, even though I don't have to, at least I'm getting books out of it. Ugh. Hit boxes, please. Oh. I'm broke. One sec. Vehicle adventures, nice. Oh, nurse. Ow, I don't even know what just happened. He like teleported at me. Eat some food to heal it. I need food, I need healing, might as well use the food. It's just taking up a bunch of random slots in my inventory anyway. Here we go. Okay, we're on the level of my stuff then. Here it is. Anybody in this room? No. Um, it's more important to me to get the quest out of the way and then take another one so I can get tier 1 done as quickly as possible than it is to get the random thing from the chest there. So let's go back to Wrecked and see if we can turn in this reward. Now, one thing to note is Nighttime is still Nightmare, Ferals are still Nightmare, and Horde Knights are still Nightmare because that's just how I always play. So I am going to be spending the night up on a high surface cowardly like I usually do because I don't think I'm fully ready to take on a Feral yet. Not at nightmare speed. They do 50 damage per hit. I mean, even with my armor, it's still going to be like 40 damage per hit. Not a boxing match. I would win. Hey, Trader Wrecked. Congratulations. Here's your reward. I will take a bunch of extra cobblestone because I'm not playing a strength build, so I'll take that. Let me go ahead and sell him this, this, and this. And buy that structural brace mod, which is actually quite helpful for this weapon. Because it'll make me use less durability, and I'll get extra damage. Right, let me see, I got a skill point there, that's just going to go into intellect as well. To unlock the next rank of batons. Right, well, I don't think I'm going to be equipped to fight a nightmare PY right now, so I'm going to go hide in my silo and wait until morning. I'll let you guys know if anything actually happens. Alright, so I hid up here during the night. It was pretty uneventful. I put my campfire on sideways, I cooked some water. Let's go do this job. Right, let's restart this. Grab the mailbox. Tech planet, nice. We can make another pipe baton. 
probably hold off on that until I have a bit more pipes. We're making very good progress on the tier 1s though, especially compared to Insane Nightmare where my trader was so far away from everything. That took ages. Anybody in here? Oh, a lockpick and a piece of steel. Bookshelves. Oh wow, shotguns, knives, fists, traps. Almost entirely useless. And an armor plating mod schematic which I'll sell to wrecked. Oh, another glue. I need two to make my pipe machine gun. Of course I might get lucky with the end loot in here anyway, but... It's usually worthwhile to try and get things in a more guaranteed way, and when good things just happen to happen, you just run with it. Oh, now these garment bags are your best source of nerdy glasses, so I'm really hoping I get lucky here. Nope. And nope. Well, I wasn't expecting it on the first bag anyway. Would have been nice, though. Two more lockpicks. Two more zombies? Can I sneak attack any of them? Maybe sneak attack her. Some brass and some 762. It's a military fiber I can sell. Oh, an electronics crate. Nice. Those are the best ones for me. Let's see, a level 3 pipe baton. Fantastic. I'll just scrap that one. This one does like two more damage and it can take a mod slot. Uh, urban combat. Sneaking over trash doesn't do the thing. Good. I don't have to ever think about it in this series then. Ooh, a robotic sledge. That is just really lucky. I need to test this on some zombies. Because I know how it works on, like, Adventurer difficulty, because I played a multiplayer server on that difficulty, and I was playing around with it, and it was very effective as just, like, a zombie knockdown thing. I don't know if um, that's related to the amount of damage it does, and therefore is related to the difficulty. So we'll have to see by, you know, doing that to some people. But it is a stamina-free melee weapon. Also, you can, like, deploy it as a turret. Which is lame. I mean, it's a really bad turret on anywhere except Horde Knight mostly, but it's a thing. Still, starting day two with five jobs done. Absolutely great start. I couldn't ask for a better start, literally. You can only do five jobs in one day anyway, on single player, unless you use the exploit. Which I tend not to. Hello, Wrecked. Not bring any diseases into my store. That's what I specialize in. Right, it takes 762, and he has a fetch 900, or a fetch 1.2 kilometers. Let's just take the closer clears. Camp car wall. That one's a bit of a bitch. I'm going to try and avoid that one. Moe's grocery, that's a good one. Worth doing a quick double loot of as well, because it has a forge ahead book guaranteed. So I might want to just double loot that one. I got all the time in the world to do it. Once I'm done with tier 1 jobs, I want to move on to tier 2 as quickly as possible anyway. I forgot to sell my armor plate. Hang on. How much are all your pipes? I'm going to take those, because pipe batons really do eat a whole lot of pipes to repair. You know, I have some lockpicks. Could always check out one of the police cars. Not that I expect much from it, but I could get some 762 or some ammo I might want to use. Since we're going pretty far anyway, and I plan on spending more time doing these last two tier 1s, we might as well take a route through the town and look for some electronics trucks. I do see this power station here. It's a tier 4, so I won't be going inside it. But if they tempt me with a mo power truck, then, you know, I'm going to do it. More pipes, nice. Oh, here's a zombie. Let's test this out on him. Oh, that's powerful. Then switch. Knock him down again. Switch. Oh no. <laughs> that is extremely powerful. <laughs> There's a military truck, but I'm not tempted by that. Let's test on this guy. The switch between two different weapons there is really slow. Probably by design, but it's enough time. Uh, more pipes, nice. There is a tool truck here, it's not the best, but I'll take it. Ah, there's an electronics truck. Oh, he sped up. Uh-oh. Yeah, if you miss that, you're screwed, though. Switch. Bloody juggling them. Um, let's take some charred meat for a little bit of healing. 
saving all my bandages for later. What happens if you do this to him, by the way? Oh, that is maximum comedy. Pick planet. I could get really lucky and just get a stun baton, by the way. That's why I'm searching all of those. Because a stun baton is just a straight up upgrade. It doesn't even matter. Like, it can be level 1 and this can be level 6. And the stun baton is still going to be better. Because it has the stun effect. Nice guy. Scrapping. There, I can make a wrench once I get some forged iron now. I think Wrecked might be selling some, so that's good. Ow. Hey, I didn't knock him down. Really? That seems like the time to use a bandage. I should really have these on my hotbar in the early game. I don't do it late game and people always complain about it. But early game, you probably should do it. Because <laughs> that health actually matters. But I'm still used to playing endgame stuff. Right, so I know there's a Forge Ahead book in here and I want it. So I'm going to try and skip to it. And then actually do the quest. Here it is. Here we go. Forge ahead. One more and we can actually make a forge. I see a passing gas in there. I wonder if we should try and get the end loot. Place that. No oh, shit, zombies behind me woke up. Okay. Alright, you keep bullying Mo while I do this. Mo has escaped the turret's wrath. Oh. The turret actually killed Mo. Uh, Magnum Enforcer, sure. Spare bandage. Some kind of firearm, I'll take it. And let's open up the pass and gas container here. Tools digest, cool. And steroids. Some ammo. Right, that's about all I really want to go out of my way to get from here. Let's actually do the quest now. Let me heal up real quick. Bleed absolutely wrecked me. That's cheating. And jump over the table. Ah, bloody random pieces of wood. You're gonna get me killed. Whoa. random stuff there. Whoa. Good job, turret. You really saved me there. Oh, some more red dye. Nice. That works very effectively. Then we get back to this room again, with my other Forge Ahead book that I want. Oh, there's Thee in there? Never seen that before. Ah, there's none in the actual loot room though. Okay. Forge Ahead, we can make a forge. So now if I want to make a wrench without buying this stuff, I can. I can craft AP turret ammo. Bunch of meds, that's nice at least. Couple of steel and some building blocks, some more steroids, and some ammo and baton parts. Pop up onto the roof, there's another container, usually just a shamway one, but it might be worth grabbing. Ammo pile, robotic parts, cool. With some sham in it. Right, I'm gonna drink a couple of water here, and then I'm gonna take a steroid so I can run at 10% faster with full inventory. And I can get back to Trader Wrecked faster. Oh, truck, hang on, hang on, hang on. Ow. Well, so in kits aren't bad. I can at least start making those uh, pocket mods now. Egg Planet, nice. Needle and Thread, Pistol Peak, cool. Spear Hunter, I'll sell that. And Paper. Hello, Wrecked. Great. Welcome to Trader Joe's. I don't guarantee a thing. That's a lot of water. I'll like take it. that. Let's see, he also has a clear 700 meters away, Camp Carwell. I don't like that one. He's Heidi Hole. You'll do what you're... I've got work. 
Yeah. Yeah, let's just do that. Slightly further Next away, time. but it's fine. I've got 2,000 monies. What do I need to buy his... Well, there's no point in buying his wrench now. I can probably just get forged iron and make my own. If I get that, and then one more forged iron, yeah. I can make a wrench. Oh, I'll need another dog tape as well. That's fine, though. I could maybe get myself some... Oh. I could get myself some Mega Crush. That will speed this process up. Uh, but before I do that, I can maybe use all the water I just got to make some glue. Let me see how many bones I have. Let's see here. Uh... Glue, two glue. I only need a couple, so that works. And then cook up the rest of the water as well. Give it a few more bits of that. So I need one glue for the pipe gun, and then I need one duct tape for the wrench, and then I need another forged iron. Let's see, pipe machine gun. That can definitely replace my pipe pistol. I don't need that. Here we go. This thing has a magazine size of like 15. So it can be my emergency gun, and I can put that in there. This is why I was taking those 762 earlier. If I turn that into a duct tape, then just one forged iron, I can make a wrench, and that's when the game becomes really quite easier to play when you have that. So the next thing I want to do is drink a Mega Crush for 50% faster run speed. I also, that will stack with my steroids, so I will run like hell right now. Oh yeah, look at that. Let's head out that one kilometer do this final tier one job that I need to do so that I can get my bicycle and then I don't have to run like this anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna get it first try. I am. Uh, a wooden club and some 7.62. That full auto mod will actually give me more damage on my machine gun and it does increase your fire rate by I think like 12%. So even if your gun is already fully automatic it does makes sense to put a full auto mod on it because it'll be even fuller auto. <laughs> it gets a 12% fire rate boost, so works for me. Oh, this is weird. I don't think I've done this POI before. Uh, my satchel's on the ground floor, so let's just run around the back and see if I can just get it. Ooh! Okay, this place has a cement mixer. Noted. That means basically a free forge ahead every time you do it. Um, is this going to be as easy as it seems? I mean, they really thought barbed wire would stop me. Let's take the other Mega Crush and run. <laughs> Shit, I thought you were a zombie. I am a zombie. I will take the glue. And I will take the bicycle. Great. Where's the next trader? Trader Bob to the west? I do not want to know anything about you anymore. He's the vehicle guy. That makes him valuable. I will actually go and see him, though. Because I have 2,000 dukes and he may have... A singular iron. But first, because there's no rush on this now. Wow, this feels extreme. I'm going to use my legs until the Mega Crush runs out. Fuck this bike. Um, I'm going to have a look for some easy electronics trucks. And the best way to do that is usually just run out into the middle of a town and look around. It's me. I'm the nightmare. I'm on nightmare speed. It's my turn, zombies. Urban combat. Craft cigars. I never fucking find that when I'm actually doing a strength build, can I? It will be helpful, though. It's not as helpful. It'll be helpful way later. By then, I'll probably just get one. Pipe baton quality 4. Spear hunter I'll sell. Paper. And sniper. Ow. Thought I had more time. Oh, hello. I smell profit. And the only thing I have points in is batons. I'm going in. Oh, it's a tier 3? Uh, I ain't no bitch, let's go in here. I didn't bring arrows. I am a genius. Those digest. Vehicle adventures. Now this will never respawn automatically. So there's no point in me like marking it and coming back in seven days. Because I have that all disabled. Urban combat, landmines won't detonate when steps on. Andy land tech planet. Um but when I get to tier 3 with a trader, this will be very helpful to have. Pipe baton quality 5. Probably actually worth making if I had any leather on me. <laughs> I'll have a look for some leather in here. We can make a robotic sledge quality 1. Those digest, we can get into a fight with this guy real quick. Oh, I was trying to do, but okay. Uh, electrical traps, okay, I do need that, but it's not a big priority. 
Right, there's another skill point. The logical choice here for me, I think, is Dating Adventurer. That will give me 10 more levels worth of trader stage with the trader. So I basically just increase the quality of things that can spawn at the trader by like 150%. Because I'm only level 5. I'm getting level 15 gear at the trader now. Sharp sticks. And a scope. This isn't the best of the books. Of the bookstores. Oh. Um... But it's a bookstore nonetheless. It's still very good. But the other one, little tier two, another urban combat one. Jesus. Uh, what was I saying? But yeah, the other bookstore is better than this. Robotic Sledge Quality 2. I'll probably just wait. I am not good. Ooh, two first aid kits. Damn. Did they buff those? I swear they were not that good in Alpha 20. Goo glue, nice. Island cabinet. Tech planet again. Uh, big hitters, who cares? Yeah, this is all crap, that's fine. I'm just gonna read that Spear Hunter book to get it out of the way. Right, not bad. Let's open up these containers. I'm just going to sell these two things. Uh, Bar Boeing Tech Planet. Armored up. Handy Land and Batter up. Uh, Hunter's Journal. Shotgun Weekly and I'll sell the off-road headlights. Let me try and unlock this container. I'm not going to bash through it though. I just, I am not tolerating that. See, am I going to tolerate that? No, fuck that. <laughs> um, nah, it doesn't even matter. Whatever, we got the books anyway. That's all I wanted out here. Maybe I should make a forge. I have a bunch of glue. I could make duct tape and make a forge and then get the one forged iron I need. Kind of annoying, but I could do it. Forge. I would need some cobblestone, which I have. I'd need a log. I need 10 leather, which I've got somewhere. There's six leather. One more duct tape. Have oh, I not got any cloth on me? Right, let me head back to my base. Let's see. 10 leather, exactly. Nice. One cloth for the duct tape, and cobblestone. In the meantime, the forge is just going to have to sit on, like, two blocks there. I'll reinforce them, at least. This is what I have to work with right now. <laughs> Where I chose to do my thing. Build a forge. I got some iron and clay. Raw iron, there's some clay. I've got some coal and wood if I need to fuel anything. Okay. Oh yeah, and I've got repair kits for my, uh, right there. Now I can make all the pipes I need. And forged iron and all that kind of thing. Go ahead and start smelting that in there. This is a really good start. This is much better than both of the other series. I'm glad I finally got a decent one. Let's get that one forged iron. There we go. And now I can make myself a rent. Oh, I put my duct tape away. Hang on. Oh no, I used it to make the forge silly me. Uh, two cloth as well. And there we go. And then wrench. I'll take two minutes. Okay. Well, that can wait until the morning. I think I'm going to leave this episode here. We are in a very good position. I have a good baton. I have a robotic turret. I have a gun. I have a bicycle. I have a forge. This is a solid start, but this is only a quick look at how an intellect build can really do some interesting things. As we get more skill points and I can start really hammering home the dating adventurer, as well as like lock picking to boost my crucible progression and grease monkey to boost my vehicle progression and advanced engineering for all the things it does. We'll also need physician to get the 20% chance to an additional 20% chance to dismember with batons and a 10% chance to just insta kill enemies with a stun baton. Extremely powerful, but you do need 10 intellect which is a lot of skill points. That is way down the line. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed the first episode of whatever this series is going to be called. It's going to be based on the comments you guys leave. This is being recorded the day before episode 19 of Insane Nightmare was put out, so I'm a little bit behind you. But give me the name of the series and we'll see what ones get the most likes and stuff. Thank you to my channel members and patrons for making these videos possible, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.